Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is your Kamal sir, content creator, Triangular Kamal Academy. Today we are going to solve here 15 week science assignment for, for the students of standard eight. And there are two experiments on the chapter earth and gravity. And so let's first see the question then we will try to answer this question properly. So uh, here, this is the 15 week uh, assignment for the students uh, of standard science. So now, uh, chapter seven, the content name is Art and Gravity, the assignment number four. So first, uh, complete the experiment with the paper and a small weight of all. First questions, uh, release the ball and a paper from the height of the 10 feet and notice what is happening. And the second part, so wrapping the paper into a round ball and examine and observe the two objects in the same way. I take a review and write a complete test and observe consecutively. That means in the first experiment, we will drop here a piece of paper and a heavy ball at a times at the 10 feet height. In the second experiment, just uh, wrapping the piece of paper in the round shape like a ball, then we will do the same experiment. Then what will be result? In the both case, we have to explain the result. And the clue is given here, the both case, the two objects, the falling down at the same times, the requirement about the time, analyzes the reason why they are not falling in the same times or they are falling in the same times and acceleration due to gravity and the match. And another clue is given here, we have to apply the law of gravity or gravitations. So this is one of the most important uh, chapters. Actually, I like, uh, I like the gravity, art and gravity, the content, uh, the content related with the uh, Newtonian's formula. Okay, let's see. Inshallah, we will try to answer properly. The first assignment name, we can write here, name of the assignment, the acceleration due to gravity. Okay. The first experiment, point a small weight, uh, when a small weighty ball and a piece of paper are dropped together from 10 feet height. The weighty ball uh, falls to the ground before a piece of paper. Observing the time with the stopwatch, I realized that it took around two seconds longer than the ball to touch the ground. That means uh, if we uh, just uh, let them fall down at the same height, 10 feet at the same times, the paper pitch are uh, need around the two seconds more than the heavy ball. Okay, now experiment number two. Now the pitch of paper was made like a ball, just folding the paper and making the shape like a small round ball. Then now new paper ball and the previous uh, weighty ball were taken to release at the same times at the same height. That means at the same times in the same height. Again, observing with the stopwatch, I realized that the paper made ball took around the one second more time than the weighty ball to touch the ground. That means in the first experiment, we saw here the paper needed two seconds, the two second more to touch the ground than the ball. And the second experiment uh, is need one second more to touch the ground than the heavy ball. So now if we explain the result, the first case, the acceleration due to gravity, the earth attracts every object, small, large, light and heavy. That means each and every object is attracted by the center of the earth. And this is, this is called the gravity due to acceleration. Number two, uh, if we drop two objects at the same height, uh, above at the same times, the light object taking a little longer to touch the ground than the heavier object. That means the light object, that means the pitch of the paper need the 
need the longer that means need the more times to touch than the heavier object number 3 the reason is the wind is blocking that means the air is blocking the small light object a little more that is why it's taking a little longer time to touch the ground that means the air making the barrier or the air, uh, the wind is blocking uh, just making the barrier to touch the ground smoothly because the light object just uh, when they are trying to fall down it need the more time due to air uh, if there or no wind barrier the pitch of the paper and the heavy balls would fall the ground at the same time that means if there is no barrier of the air the heavy and light and small and large particle they can fall the same times at the ground now the force of gravity or acceleration due to gravity is not dependent on the mass and size of the object that it will give the same result for the all object that means it's completely not dependent on the size and the shape of the object and at the same times each and every particle will fall down now this is the explanations about now in calculative way we will try to prove it so now formula of acceleration due to gravity the force acting on the body due to gravity f equal to mg f is called the force m is called the mass of the particle g is called acceleration due to gravity so now this is equation number 1 this informations are given here now according to the universal law of gravitation that means the law of the newton gravity the force equal g multiply m multiply m and divided by r plus h whole square i explain here the formula f f means the force between two bodies this is called the attraction force between two bodies the two bodies means the first body is m another body is capital or block m g g is called here the universal gravitational constant in the upper class we use this value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 and m square divided by k g square so now uh, here second small and match of the object this is the match of the object and the capital m the match of the earth and r the small r this is the radius of the earth this is the radius of the earth so again uh, now h h is the height of the body is from the surface of the earth that means if we draw a shape like this suppose this is the radius this is the earth radius and this is the mass of the earth and this is the radius sorry this uh, this is the mass of the earth suppose this is the radius of the earth and this is small particle is here this is a small particle and now this the distance from the surface of the earth this distance is h so here towards the center this total distance will be r plus h so we know the formula will be f equal to g m m divided by distance square the distance of the center of the art and distance to the distance of the particle total distance r plus h square so now here uh, this is uh, here h is the uh, there now so if we compare r and h here the radius we all know the radius of the art is 6000 Uh, six thousand four hundred forty kilometer, the radius of the art. In the upper class, you can see in the ninth and standard books, you can see radius of the art is six thousand four hundred forty kilometer. So this height of the particle is too much smaller than the radius of the art. 
the that means this h is too much this is doubly smaller than r so if the r is too h is too smaller than r we can avoid or we can skip this h so skipping this h what will be the new formula so f equal to g m m by r plus h so skipping h there will be r square so now this is the value of f square this is the value of f square so now here comparing the equation number uh so sorry this is the value of f this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 comparing equation 1 and 2 this is the left side is f this is the left side is f that means the left side is the same so their right side must be same so right side of the first equation right side of the second equation must be same so now here we can write this one a uh, dividing m by both side here we can write g equal to m this is the g this is now our final result g means acceleration due to gravity or gravitational force and now if we analyze the formula we see here in the right side the the match of the earth is here present and radius of the earth is present but match of the particle is not present here in the final step of the formula we see here match of the particle uh, particle is not present here so now write the conclusion here it depends on the match and radius of the earth that means it's completely dependent of the match of the earth and radius of the earth and uh, it help us to understand the following all bodies uh, experience uh, the same acceleration due to gravity that means they have the same acceleration due to gravity and uh, that that means it's completely dependent on the match uh, irrespective uh, e uh, actually irrespective of its match that means it's not dependent on the match of the particle so now this is our final conclusion the second part its value on its value on earth depends upon the match of the earth not depend not depend match of the object that means acceleration to be due to gravity is not dependent on the match of the object so here we said our final conclusion the force of gravity or acceleration the force of gravity or acceleration Uh, acceleration due to gravity is not dependent on the match and the size of the object it will give the same result for all object so theoretically we have proved it and doing the calculation scientifically we have shown here the acceleration due to gravity is not dependent on the uh, on the match of the object so dear students i hope you got the point uh, this is all about the assignment in the 15 week this is one of the most important assignment not only in class 8 standard in the upper class class 9 10 also in the acc level you have to answer these types of questions so i hope you got the point and you can take this screenshot from here and then you can write in your assignments so if you have any question please let me know inshallah you will try to answer as far as your demand and thank you so much hope to see you all in the next assignment wish you all the best assalamu alaikum warahmatullah